Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we are uh, we're back to not really doing an awful lot, although last episode a lot happened. But we can't go and raid everyone anymore, which is kind of disappointing. I liked raiding people. Raiding people was fun. But now we're just kind of uh, back to chilling in Harlow Hill. We're kind of building up again, we're making it better, we're reinforcing our men so we can actually have men to fight. Which might be nice. King Arson of Westeros has inherited a city. Oh yes, I forgot. Uh, Westeros, uh, Stormlands, and uh, the Iron Isles are all after one province held by a dragon. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more. Now, Adrian Celtigar now rides Tariel into battle. Oh, okay. I got confused there for a second because in the Fosaway campaign, this was our sigil for so long because it was um, that's the Rose Road, right? Yeah, I load up the Rose Road. So I was like, wait, is that us? But it's not. It's the uh, previous us. Oh, looks like the Veil is all back together as well, which is quite nice. Uh, the book you bought from the Strange Desert Scholar has proven useful for gaining new ideas and insights into your in your studies of the stars and what lies beyond. It does, however, contain some quite disturbing texts and images. Things that lead towards a level of understanding that might make one mad. Well... We are diligent, so I think we have to delve de uh, deeper. 30% chance of madness. And then uh, we will either get Scholar, Strange, Reader, The Accursed, or The Black. We're mad. We're completely mad. The voices are whispering to me, telling me what to do. Horrible, horrible things they want me to do. I've gained the lunatic trait. We are now known as Lord Reaver Urus, the Strange of Harlaw. Oh, this is going to be fun. I haven't been a lunatic in this mod before, but I believe there are special mod-only things for lunacy. Like for... There, there, it's uh, it's going to be interesting. Wait. Master Predarian of Durlin has been released from King Arson of Westeros' dungeon. Are you telling me that when he sieged down the province, he actually... No. <laughs> he managed to imprison the dragon? Okay. And now the dragon didn't actually lose his land, he's just underneath Westeros. That is perfect. Uh, Lord Paramount Andros the Lazy has declared the Veilman Longstrider de Jure War over Longstrider on Lon Lorgrith, Lor Morgrath of Longsister. It was Longsister every time, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, so Longthorpe, um, so it's just uh, within the Veil thing, I believe. Yeah, just trying to get all of his holdings together. Uh, people are being released from dungeons. Five weak claims can be pressed now. So, oh, we've got, also got a claim on the Lordship of Blackwater Bay that we could press for many, many, many people, but newest being uh, Davin Seaworth. Okay. That's cool. Don't need to do that. Uh, that was our building being done. King Arston of Westeros revoked Claw Isle from Morrow of Claw Isle. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to continue building. We got our uh, farms. Let's uh, we could upgrade Castle Town, get more income. Try and build that up because uh, it was when the Norvos people came and uh, burned it down, I believe. That was when the first problem happened. Megan shows every sign of being infatuated with why with the uh, Wild Gun. Uh, she follows them everywhere, and Wild Gun is seemingly equally smitten. So if the giant. Okay, they're of a similar age. I mean. How sweet, I guess. Um, is that our first daughter? That is our first daughter. I'm just seeing what would we think about this. We're content, so we're not necessarily looking for huge opportunities at all the time. We are diligent. Um, we're also charitable. I think we would be okay. I think we'd be okay with this. I don't think we're necessarily against it. How sweet. Uh, let me just grab him. Hey, do you want to marry a betrothed to my daughter? Can you not marry? It's not, not an option. Um, is my daughter? If I go to my daughter and go to betrothal, is he on the list? It'll be under name. Uh, like, while gone? No, no. Okay, so he's not available. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter at all then. We'll just ignore it. I guess it's a uh, giants can't marry or something, and the other one isn't a giant. Just has the giant uh, graphical stuff. Queen Marissa of the North inherited the castle of the Gatehouse Tower from Master Craigard of Gatehouse Tower. 
She's been alive a really long time. I remember this because um, her air is meant to, like the Stark line disappears at that point. I mean, there's still a lot of Starks, but the Starks no longer control the North as soon as she dies. But it's been so long that uh, like I think it was meant to be him for a while. It might even be been meant to be his father. Not quite, but it, I think it was meant to be him for a while. Yeah, she's been alive a reasonably long time. I've noticed Marshal Lord Meldred's hard work and everyone seems to like him. I'm deciding between having my Marshal heighten the morale of the troops or try and recruit more soldiers. Um, I mean, this makes very little difference, but we'll go for morale because it's generally better. Because you don't have to reinforce morale. Morale, like, um, if you know what I mean, um, if we get more levy, we have to reinforce into it. So this is gonna, it's not really going to give us that levy right away. But if we have to fight right now, the morale, like, it just works. My steward informs me that my concubine Alia is with child. Also, I believe morale, then, the more morale you have allows you to do more morale damage. Could be wrong about that. I could be thinking of EU4, but I believe it's the same in CK2. Great wisdom comes to those who study the world and learn from it. Your studies of the stars and other things beyond this world have taken you on very strange paths, and your learning has increased immeasurably since you started. The stars are right. Yeah, our learning is out of control. We're definitely there. I forgot we were mad when I was trying to make decisions. We're just completely mad, so maybe I should just choose them randomly. That would be an interesting way of doing it. Although we're kind of mad with these uh, modifiers on top, which is kind of weird. Uh, my liege, my mission to Landsport has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of Lord Meldor of Landsport, I've managed to make him understand what benevolent and peaceful rule you really are in his senses regard. Your humble master of laws, Master Urus. Perfect. He likes us even more. He doesn't hate us as much as he used to. Um, we have some factions going on. We could join elective succession for the Iron Isles. Which currently uh, Lord Manfred is in. Okay, that could be an idea. Or Crown Loyalists who would join against us in that war. I just wanted to see how much we would add. We don't add a lot, so. I don't want him I don't want to join the faction because then he could fire the faction, which then means that we have to join. I'd prefer to join when I want to fire the faction. Lord John of Gultown has usurped the title High Lord of Gultown from Lord Othar the Tickler. So the Graffins have taken land from the Waynewoods. The Wainwood's got a lot of land in the last few episodes, so it's nice that they're getting some taken away, I guess. Lord John of the Wicked has served the Lordship of Darry from Lord Quincy the Gallant, so the Darklands took land from the Mutons. And then he usurped the Lordship of Maidenpool from Bro the Bromleys, and the Mutons then took land from the Bromleys, so they still held land in their High, Lord in their high Lordship. Let's scroll up so we can see the uh, build bar. Jonald of East Estimate Peasant Revolt to declare a, pe a peasant's revolt for estimate on Storm King Ghouli and the Chaste. So, Stormlands have a peasant's revolt. Big deal. Dear son, may you live in harmony and contentment. I was going to plot where Melinda Mavery seeks to replace Fernie Greyjoy as Spymaster. I mean, I'm not too bothered. Again, I'm not too bothered about that kind of thing. Well, there's another one that we can press there. For the Kingdom of the Rock, for Lend Lydon, if we wanted. How many men do the Rock have? Uh, out of curiosity. Oh, let me try and find the right province in here. I was on the right one to start with. They have 18,000. Yeah, that's a little bit much. The world is a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. Rumors of each you. People are conspiring to kill you. I must be careful. Definitely. We could go into hiding. Definitely. But that also lowers the number of events we get. So that's the reason I haven't. Wait. The dragon arrived in our court for a second there. Uh, but now he's not in our port. He's now in, he's now in Lady Mega's uh, court. But I guess the dragon has lost his land. He must have had it revoked and then accepted. Um, more people being released. You're finally uh, certain, absolutely certain. There are things you understand now that lie beyond the ken of noble men. If they knew, oh, if they knew. But it's the task of scholars such as you to keep and preserve such things in secret, least, lest all humanity go insane of the knowledge of its own insignificance. I shall be a devoted keeper of the elder secrets. So we get mystic. Hmm, okay. Well, I'll take it. That gives us uh, plus one intrigue and some same trait opinion bonus, but we're now very uh, mystic-y. Oh, that's our f us finished our thing. So, uh, um, okay. Lord Reaver Urker, the accused, used the favor in Iron King Lancel to get the chief general position getting Sir Tywell Hill fired in the process. And then a castle town was built. What are we going to build in place of it? Um, we can't do another castle town because we don't have small estates too. 
Uh, I don't remember what you need for small estates. Um, maybe it was patrol post. It might have been militia training ground. Uh, I can't actually remember. Let's just get militia training ground. It's generally pretty good. Right. Well, a son was born, but he is also dead. So Roran was born, and he is dead. One of my salt wives produced in me a new whelp. You, uh, Roran would have been considered my legitimate child, but fortunately he did not survive the birth. It was a long, hard night, and in the end it seems for nothing, little Roran never lived. Oh well, we almost had a son, but not quite. To be honest, I'm not too upset uh, if we die and become our half-brother, who was set up to be fantastic and really, really good. Because we're kind of... We, we weren't so, so much set up that way. Although we, we are quite a good character in the end. Lord Luke of the Trident, the Viprins have taken land from the other Viprins. I think that went the other way last time. I could be wrong. Some more people being released. Uh, righteous imprisonments are the same. Same person owes as a favor. Guile Iron Fist. So really, not an awful lot to, uh, to worry about. Reachman, the warrior's son, does your war or holding... Uh, the Reachman, the warrior's son, did your war holding war over High Garden has ended. King Mathis of the Reach won. So High Garden is now controlled by the Reach again. Opposed to the warrior's sons, who I guess took it at some point, like the mercenary company. Okay. <laughs> At age 21, Janela died of poor health. Oh, okay. That's it for Janela. Peasants revolt for estimate ended and the Stormlands won. Yeah, okay. Oh, someone else died. Uh, Will died a natural death. Okay. Will is the father of Bob Bobber. So he'll be upset about that. We don't really care. Dear Lord Reaver, Urus the Strange, I invite you to the Grand Feast in Castle Rock. Your presence at the feast would be greatly appreciated, and I look forward to your attendance. Iron King Lancel, I'll travel to the feast. Definitely. Right? I mean, we're a little bit paranoid, but we're also mad. Let's just travel to the feast. I want to see what happens. See if there's anything cool. A little bit of an autosave. Okay. Okay. Oh, Lord Meldred is no longer our chief general. Uh, Lord Dale has taken over. Lord, at age 42, Lord Meldred of Lansport was slain by Surindos of Ba Washra in. Is that Ba Rashra in personal combat? He must have been on a reaving, because that is some name. Yeah. Wow. That is. Uh, that guy looks tough. Yup. He is dead. And now we have a new person in charge there. That's the wrong one. Uh, this is the right one. Lord Dale, who looks just as confused as we do. Um, see, we look a little bit confused. He's got the same... You can tell we're related. He's got the same kind of blank look. He's like, oh my god, I'm in charge of this. Now I have to do something. I think unlikely he's going to be our master of arms. And Gale, the new dragon rider, could definitely be master of arms. He's uh, probably going to be very good at it. Or we can give it back to Lend Lydon, um, who wants to be Master of Arms and would be the best at it because he wants to uh, be it. We'll give it back to Lend Lydon. He used to have it a long time ago. We'll let him do it again. We'll train our troops. Right. Um, do we have an advisor position open? Or a priest position open? No advisor because we're not high enough rank. Iron King Lancel greets us warmly to his feast. Wine was served and the most delicious aromas came from the kitchen. Thank you for having us. Okay. This past month, your courtier, Hagen Maring, has been organizing a reaving. A reaving is announced will journey far into the east in Slaver's Bay. He and his fellow reavers are now ready and have set sail from Harlow Hill in their quest to follow the old way. Do us proud. So Hagen Maring, Bob Bobber, Master Urus the Red Reaver, uh, Hotho Serpentail, Victorian Serpentail, and Ravos have gone reaving. That reminds me uh, of something here. We should probably change our scholarship focus as it literally does nothing for us now. We could go into theology if we wanted, which is similar for us. Maybe go into hunting. Um, that can be a thing. Like, red up, now go hunting. Um, what are we looking at? Charitable, diligent. I'm trying to think of what we would want to be doing. I mean, we could just randomize it and just like close my eyes and do that and then choose one. But that's not really the best. I was thinking for us of lunatic. Um, rulership maybe? 
I don't know. We want, we want to be diligent and we want to be just. His rulership kind of fits that. Yeah. And content, so we're content to just govern. Whilst at the Iron King Lancel's feast in the Castle Rock, I was enjoying some of the lamprey pie, but I got carried away and tried to swallow too large a piece. I cannot breathe. The guests around me tried to save me. Terror grips me, so I realize I'm dying. Oh. We're dead. That's it. We're dead again. We are now Lord Vic, uh, Vicon of Harlaw. So be it. Okay. You want me to be your commander? Sure. Right. You have a new heir. If you die now, you'll play as Ragnar Serpentail. Nothing special about him, but he, he exists. Okay. That's fine. Um, we are cynical. So we're not very religious. We're temperate. Um, so we, uh, you know, believe in moderation. Honorable, but greedy. So we like our money. Business focus. I get it. It kind of fits in. We're also a very good commander. We also have a lot of troops under our control now. Cool. Your half-brother, Lord Urus Serpentil, has died. It now falls upon you to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it a small and private one. Well, we're temperate and greedy. It's going to be a small private funeral. Definitely. Shortly after the death of your half-brother, Urus the Strange, you are brought a strange piece of news. It seems as if the library was raided, the only item being stolen, a strange old book of Arabian origin. Two servants who were in the library at the time were found dead, though witnesses refused to describe the uh, state of the bodies. To uh, try again, um, it seems the library was raided, the only item being stolen, a strange old book of Ashai origin. Let's, let's, let's go with that as our line. Strange. Right. Well, I don't believe we have a funeral. We have important decisions. We can go on a reaving, which definitely seems like something we might want to do. We also need to set up our... We, do we have a council? We don't have a council. So we need to set it up. So the only one left is uh, Ma Master Urus the Red Reaver. Our just card not change. Do we have any friends? No, we have one rival who is Ares Targaryen. Okay. Who was also the person who fought against our uh, against our half brother in that previous uh, trial by combat? Okay, drowned men. Uh, we have choice. We have Tartle, who we like, and we have Rag. Uh, we have Ragnar, who we also like a little bit. But we're gonna go with Tartle because he um, he likes us a little bit more and is a little bit better at it. They're both pretty bad at it, but we'll do with that. And I guess he's gonna. Hmm. I guess he has to perform charity because conversion doesn't really work because we're cynical. Building zeal doesn't work because we're cynical. So performing charity is the only option. Maester. Uh, we have a choice here as well. Who do we like the most? Uh, we dislike Kyle the, the most, I guess. Although he is zealous. Uh, why do we dislike Tommen? Foreign religion, foreigner. Why do we like Kyle more? Because he's content. Uh, we're going to go with Tommen. There, uh, that's fine. Spymaster. So we're looking for somebody who we quite like uh, here. Because this is an important position for us liking people. If there's nobody, because we appear to hate absolutely everybody in our court. Shereel, she's 12. We're going to give it to uh, Melinda. We don't hate, we do actually hate her quite a lot. Why do we hate her so much? Um, I'm going to go here. Melinda, 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 Melinda. That's a, is a long list to uh, go through. Melinda. Um, just generally don't like her. Okay. Also a different religion, but we don't really care about. You know what? We're going to give it to Melinda. Right now. Because uh, we don't really like anyone. So we might as well give it to somebody who's good and not completely cripple ourselves. Treasurer, we'll do Castilian before we do Treasurer, Master of Arms. Um, I guess we'll give it to Land Lidden, we've just given him the job back, so we'll give it to him again. Right, and he can go train troops. Right. Did that work? There we go, yep. Castilian, we want to give it to somebody who has pretty good diplomacy and stewardship. Ravos would be alright, also Dale would not be the worst. 
I'm going to give it to Dale because we like him a little bit more than Ravos, I think. Oh, no, we like Ravos quite a lot. Oh, never mind. Let's give it to uh, Ravos. And he can go and oversee the province. Um, is that the one we want? He can't improve holding, so yeah, I guess he has to go oversee the province. Unless we want to get him to pacify the province to get an extra levy rate uh, stuff, but we don't need to do that. And then Treasurer, um, we can either make Roderick or Dale. We have to make, I think we should make it Dale because he is also a powerful vassal. There we go. And he can collect taxes over here. Right, um, all that seems fine. Uh, Oversee problems also means that we get extra tax, which fits in, fit, fits in with our greediness. Okay, we've got all these things we could press for, for Shatterstone, for all of that. Don't need to worry about it. Righteous imprisonments, we can imprison Master Urus because he wants to become regent. Don't care. Okay, we're going to let it run a couple of, uh, a little bit longer just to see what kind of events we get. Oh, we get prestige for the feast that we weren't at, but that's fine. And, oh, Child Lacks of Focus, Ragnar. Ragnar is kind of neutral across the board. We're very much into the, we've got some martial stuff going on, but we're, as ourselves, we're into moderation. We believe in uh, the virtue of uh, that. We're also into being greedy, honorable. I don't know what we would go for. Maybe just pride, general rulership. I was thinking either that or duty, but it would probably be thrift. Um, let, let's go for pride. Let's stick with pride. We've done that a few times. It seems to be all right. Council's discontent because they're all new. That's fine. Let it run a little bit longer to see if we get any funeral events. I don't think we get any because we um, we didn't hold one because we're, uh, you know, we're tight. Harak Ironfoot died stillborn. My liege, since I arrived in Harlow Hill, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Your humble marshal, Lend Lynn. No, we'll go We'll go to the autosave. Uh, we'll go to 1st of January. That seems like a good idea. My lord, your half-sister, Shreel, is responding well to my tuition. She is improving in her skills and advancing in knowledge every day. Your humble servant, Master Tommen. Good news. Yeah, fantastic. Right. <laughs> there are also some things we could do in terms of declaring war. Like, uh, we could probably declare war on Krom here if we wanted. He doesn't have a lot of men. We could try and claim Pike for our uncle or our kinsman. Um, well, it would just be Pike, but... Um, oh, we could either claim the whole of Pike or just Pike. Interesting. Um, if we took it all, it was going to be difficult to get it back. But if we claimed just Pike, that could be fun. Um, I also probably want to start getting claims on things. Uh, we are a little bit greedy, so we could argue that. Let's um let's start fabricating our own claims on uh do you wanna start on Pike or do you wanna start on maybe Saltliff? Let's start on Saltliff, which we might actually have claims to. And then maybe if we wanted to declare a war for Pike now, we could potentially take that land from Lord Crom and then that would be uh that would kinda of work out, I think, yeah. If we declare now, try and take the land from Lord Crom uh for Pike for our uncle, and then we take Saltliff back, that would seem like a good idea. Um Right, let's do that. Let's uh, also build another... I, we're greedy. We're not going to build another building. There we go. Um, we still have the dragon as our commander, right? That's an important part of this plan. That one of our commanders is a dragon. No, but the dragon rider is still here. So we can go with that. We also have another dragon rider, don't we? Uh, instead of Uron, we have... If we scroll down... I thought we had a second dragon rider. Do we only have one? Because I thought we had one, killed one, and got and then got another one. I thought we had to kill one and got another one. I guess they've left somewhere. Okay, we still have a dragon. So let's declare our war. Uh, you're not a li ally to anyone. Nope. You only hold Pike, Lordship of Pike, and High Lordship of Pike. Uh, who holds holds the other? Uh, we have a Nate P, and we have Nate P. He holds both of them. Okay. So that also splits the Nate's, be Nate's be power up because it he'll automatically take a province. So I declare a war. I declare for Pike for um for the Lordship of Pike for uh, Hagen Greensmith, as opposed to the High Lordship for Roderick. I think that works. Declare like that. We will raise up all of our men, which is not uh it's not a small force. Merge all the way up here. Uh. When are you arriving? 15th. We're going to arrive on the 8th. 
So I'm fine with that. We'll merge. Gale leads the center. Uh, do we want to lead? Ral is there as well. Okay, so Ral is there. Oh, she was already down as one of our commanders then, I guess. Ral is not in our commander list, but is still leading an army. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to argue with it. Uh, do we want to lead the other one? We can lead the other one. Interesting who we're, who's allowed to lead our armies, because we're not allowed to lead. Even though it is our armies. Would we be allowed to lead the center if we wanted? No. Okay. So Dragon Rider, Dragon Rider, and then on this one we'll put in Grey Worm, who is a good flanker. Um, we probably want to get a few of Grey Worm's troops over to the dragons. Uh, maybe that's enough. Yeah. I think we'll win this fight. We got double dragon. They don't have a lot of morale. The crossing over a river crossing is fine. You wait to horrifying news. Cersei has apparently sent letters to all lords of the realm claiming you're the product of adultery on the part of your mother. Lies. All lies. Oh no. That's not good. So all lords of the realm dislike me slightly more because of that? Or do only the one... Or maybe they have to actually have that as a thing. Maybe it's just our core. I don't know. I should have read it more uh, more carefully really now in retrospect. Uh, we're going to take this route around and the reason we're taking this route is around is because I don't actually want to attack in across a river cross like across a straight crossing. That seems like a bad idea. Them attack across a straight crossing. Great. I'll have it every day of the week. Us doing it is a little bit bad. Anyway, we'll let them attack in, and then we will uh, end this episode. I think Arsenal of Westeros cleared the third Westeros seat, Westlander, the Jure War over the Rock. Okay, which we are now in. Okay, so the Rock could go into Westeros soon. Let's fight here with dragons and things. Okay, and we seem to have won it. We're going to head and follow the army, and I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.